Hello there, welcome back. Stephanie here from Simply On Demand. I'm a creative designer as well as a Canva design coach, and I help my clients be visually visible on social media with designs that I create for them. The coaching part, I help them with their designs when they reach out and ask me for some help. So if you're following me on Facebook and LinkedIn, you would know that last week I shared a live tutorial with you on how to blur the background with the foreground staying sharp and in focus. Yesterday, while doing a guest expert session in a private Facebook group, I came across a new feature in Canva. And of course, I had to jump up here, jump on here and share that with you. So without further ado, let me just share my screen with you so that we're all on the same page. All right. So this is the photograph that I used. I simply searched for summer in the photo section there you can see i searched for summer and this is the photograph that i picked so what i then did was i duplicated this and i removed the background of the duplicated one and then blurred the image with the edit image um, feature on the left hand side adjust and then i just blurred it as you can see ever so slightly. I then also made it a little bit transparent so that it's there's some differentiation between fall and background. And then I simply just put the, the uh, lady with her arms behind her head on top. As you can see, that is the photograph over there. Then I noticed that Canva has given us a new feature. So where we can take the image without duplicating it, without removing the background, without blurring um, the second image with a single click of a button. So this is what it looks like. Let me show you how we do this. So let's go back to the top image, select your image, make sure that you've got the blue line around the outside and then click on edit image and it will be that autofocus as you can see it's um, being beta tested at the moment it's not going to be up at the top you're going to have to scroll right down to the bottom past all of these um, lovely things that you've been playing with for a while now and just keep scrolling just keep scrolling keep scrolling and right at the bottom it's under tools autofocus is this one over here. So as you can see, I've got the photograph selected. I simply click on autofocus and Canva does its own thing. <clears throat> and whilst it's busy thinking, you have the opportunity to increase or decrease the, the blur as well as position, reposition the blur itself. So when we look at the blur intensity is sitting at 50% at the moment. Now, if we go higher let's just take it up to 70 you can see the background becomes very very blurred <clears throat> and if we take it down to 30 we can see that the background is a little bit more in focus the blur position itself let's take that up to 50 now the background is the one that is blurred at this point in time let's take that up to 50 and hit enter now you can see that she is blurred herself as well, with the background being not so blurred. Now, if we were to take that up to 100, she is blurred and the background very, very little itself. So it depends, exact, it depends entirely on you as to where you want the blur to appear. Um, I simply prefer it in the background, the background to be blurred, maybe a little bit more uh like over there yes like that but now remember if you're going to be wanting to um okay and what's going on here now oh <laughs> i think my internet connection just had kittens so if you want to blur the background on this understand that the whole image is going to 
be transparent. See what I'm doing there? So the whole image, the whole photograph is going to be transparent. So if you want the background to be a little bit more transparent and the foreground to still be crisp, you're going to have to go it the long way around as I've done here. And let me just very quickly show you what I did. So I went to photos. I did once, twice, the one in the, in the background. I simply just sized it up like so. The one in the foreground, I then did edit image and I removed the background. Now remember, this is a pro feature, the background remover. If you want to do this uh, with in Canva free, you still can, but you're going to have to upload the download the image, upload it to remove.bg, which is the website where you can use it, and then back upload it again to Canva. So now this is our foreground image. Let's just blur or first um, make it a little bit transparent. No, not that one. Ish. So, oh. And I am a little bit too fast for myself over here. So let's just remove the background again. And this is what happens. I get so excited <laughs> about things in Canva that I actually don't look what I'm doing. So the background image is now the one that's selected, edit image, and we want to blur it. Not that much. Let's just blur it like that. And now what we do is we come back to the foreground image. Let's just take that away. And we simply, I, I do this. And the reason why I do this, I size it down, is so that I have control over the background image as well. So now I will position it and enlarge her so she fits on top of that. And as you can see now, my background is blurred. My foreground is crisp which is not what Canva gives us with the, with the one touch um, autofocus that we, that I've just shown you. Okay, so you can with one touch, let me stop share. You can with one touch, with one click of a button, now remove, blur the background a little bit and make the full, make, a focal point stand out a little bit more but you can't make it transparent all at the same time you'll still have to go the long way around i hope this was help i hope this tutorial was helpful if you want to know any if you want me to show you anything else in canva chances are i i probably have already it would probably be in my be, become your own expert designer uh, tutorial program or it will be in one of the free tutorials I have available on YouTube. While I've got your attention over here, I'm running a free five day bootcamp. Uh, build confidence with Canva from the 6th of December to the 10th of December, five days free of charge, 30 minutes time investment every day. The task will drop. I show you what I want you to do. You go away and do it. Please don't spend more than 30 minutes on it because when you fall down the Canva rabbit hole, it's very difficult to claw your way back out again. I'm sure you know that. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Pop me a comment down below or send me a direct message. I'm always happy to hear from you. All the best. Bye now.